This is how a user can try out the Polylit real-world example in a full development environment in their browser using Gitpod. So this page here is where we will, the user will hopefully visit and then they will click uh, this link to start the process and all they need is a GitHub account and some enthusiasm for the whole process. And of course, it's this, this link they should use in the real world, but this PR hasn't been pulled yet, so we will be using this link. And since it takes a bit of time and they will need to create a Gitpod account if they don't have, I'm trying to show the process here for them quickly. So they will need to create their GitHub account, uh, their Gitpod account. And since they have a GitHub account, that, that is really quick. Just this click and then one more click. And then they need to create a workspace. The defaults are good. And some little waiting here. And then this environment, a full VS code in their browser will start. But there will be some more waiting here. And, but then it's good. So uh, that's what they need to do. And I want to demonstrate this to you now. So I will click this link and I already have an account. So we skip that step, but I need to create a new workspace. So I will be doing that. And there's some little waiting here. It's Docker. It will need to pull the, uh, the image the, and stuff like that. But this is much quicker than it used to be. Gitpod has really sped this process up. Um, it, it used to be for a new user. It used to be, I don't know, it took very long time, but now I only need to, to talk to you a little bit until this happens. And this is VS Code starting. And we're opening the getting started namespace where I have added some little information here about what they should be waiting for until this uh, process can be considered done. So we're waiting for the REPL to be started here and some log messages there. So we will wait for it. And there. So that now we have the, the messages. And then the user is instructed if they don't know Calva or Clojure, they should uh, read this uh, file first, which is similar to this, but it's more targeted on learning uh, the few basics you need to follow this. So to prove that we can do that, we, sh we are instructed to load this file in the REPL. And I will start the screencast mode so you will see my keystrokes I'm using here. So I know how to do this. This loads uh, this uh, namespace in the REPL. And we are greeted with a message here just as it says we should be here. And then we should further prove this by evaluating this string. And that is evaluating the top level form. So Alt, Enter. And yeah, now I've proven that I can continue with this guide, which is going to go on in this comment form, a rich, rich comment form, as we call it in the closure world. And if we are instructed to read these instructions and evaluate the top level forms one by one. So we we'll start with that. We define the base API URL here, and then we fetch ourselves some articles. And that will hit the server, as you see here, it logs some stuff. And then we can look at the articles. But of course, this is a fresh install, so there are no articles. And we should therefore create an article. And before we do that, we need to create a user. So this is the payload for creating the user. And now we create the user and we get back uh, the token that we will need in order to 
uh, create uh, the article. So this is the article uh, and we need the authorization header with the token and now we will post and create the articles. The article. And there, that's done. And we save the request for further usage if we want. And now we can fetch some articles again. Uh, yeah, same messages, but this time, hopefully, we will actually have articles here. And it will be exactly one, even. And also in this um, uh, prepared image, we will have the poly tool installed. And the poly tool is super to give, give us some overview of our uh, polylith uh, system. So we, it's running here and we can do some basic things here. Check, check the integrity of the system. Everything is okay. That's good. We can ask for help. Uh, it's really good. Help message we get here with all the commands we can use. Um, one very interesting command, only tool command is info, which gives us information uh, about the project, which bricks are being uh, in use, where, all that stuff. Really, really, really good. And we can get help on the info command because yeah there is more than we show here and also help here how to read the output and everything and we can also run the tests i will run all the tests even though this will take a bit to set up the first time we run the tests then after that it will be incremental tests so it will only run the uh, the test that needs to be run. It's really, really, really good. And now the tests are running. Mm -hmm. Good. All tests pass in this project. And then this guide should continue with actually how to use uh, um, the polylith uh, architecture. And but. I'm not an expert at and this, uh, at this, these are the experts and they will complete this guide with, uh, whoa, what happened now? Um, yeah, with that information. That was the demo. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you try this.